Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got another watercolor Wednesday to share with you. Today I am using the Stampin' Bella Oddball Reindeer Set. I love these guys. They are so delightfully grumpy. They're so much fun to color in. And I will be pairing them with another um, Stamping Bella sentiment set called the Oddball Festive Sentiment Set, which really just pairs perfectly with them. This is uh, a new favorite of mine. So I am using all of my usuals. I've got my Ganzai Tambi watercolors, my Fabriano paper, Santa Fe brushes. I have stamped out my um, images here using Versafine Onyx Black ink and set those with some Simon Says Stamp clear embossing powder that gives a nice little edge so that my watercolor doesn't run too far. I have left in the full coloring of these but sped it up quite a bit. I've got this at five or six hundred percent so you can see the whole process. Uh, if you would like to skip ahead to the tags I'm going to make at the end, that's going to start around the 14 minute mark. But for now, I will go ahead and turn up the music and I will meet you closer to the end when we start putting the tags together.
So for my tags, I'm going to be using a die set from Essentials by Ellen. This is called the Concertina Tag Set. This is a really fun tag because all three of these are actually together when they cut, they are scored on the two middle lines. So you can create sort of a long, very wide set of three tags. You can leave those together or cut them apart. I did go ahead and lay things out, but because of the size of the reindeer, it just didn't work to leave it all together in one. Also, I'm planning to use these on some packages, so it just made more sense for me to cut it apart. But I do love the option that this gives you. So I am trimming this out here from Concord and Ninth Parsley Green Cardstock. And then I will also use the included uh, reinforcement hole. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out from Concord and Ninth Cranberry Cardstock. I have gone ahead and taken my watercolor reindeers to my brother's Scan and Cut and have got those all trimmed out. I really need to use that Scan and Cut more. I sometimes forget that I have it, but it is so helpful um, for projects like this. So here I am cutting the tag apart. And I'll add a little art glitter glue to the back of my reinforcers and get those placed right on top. Here I'm pulling in these sentiments. They are really fun and really snarky. Just the, the perfect grumpy addition to go along with these reindeer. I'm going to go ahead and use some of my Versamark ink on some MFT black licorice cardstock and then I will heat set that with some Simon Says Stamp fine detail white embossing powder. So I've gone ahead and trimmed out my sentiments, just saving us a little bit of time here. I'm going to skip ahead to putting everything together. So I'm going to have a reindeer and a sentiment to go with each. Just figuring out my placement here, where I'd like everything to be. Alright, so now we can start putting everything together. I'm going to add some foam dots behind my reindeer. I want to give this lots of dimension. And then I'm going to press that into place. I want to keep him somewhat centered. I'm also trying to strategically place these so that I'm not completely covering the hole for our ribbon. Make that a little bit easier when I add that at the end. I've added some scotch foam tape behind the sentiment there. 
and I'm sorry I'm a little bit off camera, what I'm doing is a double layer of this. So I'm doing one layer all the way across and then I'm adding just a little piece on either end uh, where it's going to stick to the tag and that way it stays nice and even uh, over top of my reindeer. Doing the same thing here with my second tag. This one I think is my favorite of the reindeer. I mean, I love them all, but I just love all of the loops of that scarf. I think he's so much fun. Again, adding a double layer of my foam tape there. I'm just gonna place just enough off the edge where he's, um, where that's going off to the side of the reindeer and that way I'll keep everything nice and even. For this last one, I thought I'd switch things up a little bit. I'm going to take my sentiment here and I'm going to place that directly onto the tag using some of my art glitter glue. And then of course I'll pop up my reindeer using my foam dots. place him down right on top. Again, trying to make sure I leave a little bit of space uh, for the loop for my ribbon. I have pulled in some black ribbon from my stash. This is a satin ribbon and it's about a quarter of an inch wide. Just going to loop that through all three holes at the top and then I will trim the edges to make them nice and neat. And there we have our finished tags. Here are a few close-up photos for you. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I've used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.